Hey guys, Travis here for Tebow's Corner. We get to go first on another installment of Travis Plays the pre -Mades. And we are playing, let's see, I want to put Hellhound out first. So we play a land that we can actually use. Savage Lands is one of the ten decks that Wizards of the Coast made from four expansions. And it's weird to think that we're back up to seven cards already. Attack! Not seven cards, but seven decks. So this was with the last rotation out, the big rotation where we lost Throne of Eldraine and Theros Beyond Death, and we lost Icoriolaire of the Behemoths. Uh, so we had Zendikar Rising, Kaldheim, Strixhaven School of Mages, and Adventures in the Scotten Realms. And for a minute, uh, one hot minute, that was all that we had, was those four decks, those four uh, expansions. And so they gave us 10 pre-made decks, and since then we've had a couple of uh, Innistrad expansions come out, and Kamigawa Neon Dynasty just came out. And let's go ahead and do this. Was kind of halfway hoping for another land, but we'll take it. He gives up one creature is a chump blocker. So we're taking 10 weeks to play one deck a week, each of the pre-mades, and give players a feel for what's in them, how they work, how they're weak. And at the end of the week, we'll talk about what we might do to beef this deck up. And if you missed going over the deck, if you're not familiar enough with the deck, there should be an index card in the upper right corner of the video you can click on. And it'll take you to the video that we did at the beginning of the week that talks about each and every one of the cards in the deck. And evidently by turn three, it gets to be very difficult to figure out what to do in this game. I hope my microphone here is not as good as my own hearing is. I've got laundry in one ear and somebody doing dishes in the other ear. And my cat's banging open doors and making noises. Okay, they did nothing. We're going to bring this guy down. So he can't be blocked. We're not frozen, so he's got some kind of spell that he can cast. And he's deciding whether or not to use it. And we're still waiting. Normally turn three is not a very complicated turn. Okay, no attacks. He could have something that he, if he knows what he's doing, he could make this more powerful than two. All he needs is a plus one and something he could block and kill my brush for elemental. If he has a plus one, plus one, that would do it. So we don't want to lose him this early. So we're going to play a little bit more conservative unless we have a land to back it up. These kind of battles usually go quickly, but that's when your opponent's not roping you every single turn. Because I've got two landfall creatures out in the f by turn three, and all I need is a little bit of land to close this out. Usually with these decks, you've got the extra land already in hand. But if we have to wait on lands to show up, this could get drawn out quite a bit. And never mind, they're gone. Alright, well I was hoping that would be a good example, but we're just going to roll on in to the next match real quick. 
Evidently, this guy did not know that he was going to be on YouTube and that he should make sure to play an exciting game. Some days are like that. Some days it's like 85% of the matches are people that are not there or they get up and leave or they're there but they don't know how to play and they just rope you forever. There's no button we can press or no setting to say YouTube content to make sure that people are going to be ready to go. And we probably should have mulliganed because most of our spells require red mana and we don't have red mana. And he plays a wolf just like the last guy did. Oh, here's another one. That's gonna get out of control real quick. And still not the right color of mana. And this is why magic is a gamble sometimes. There's no guarantee that doing a mulligan would have done any better. But he is on curve. And... Six points on turn three. Summon along. And of course, this is the weakness of the deck. Oh, hello. We finally get... Right color mana. Just when we're about to die in two turns. Got more stuff. I have to do this just to stop the damage. A little bit. The problem is werewolves count as wolves, right? And I only have one of the right mana color that I need. And he's got five lands, and I do not. And there's nine, which means I need to block just to survive this turn. I'm not sure why I'm bothering. Because as far as I know, there's nothing in this deck that can save me now. Certainly not that. So we'll just call it a good game. And be sad, because we had no removal that could take out a measly one or two toughness creature at the beginning. Plus we got no lands. Alright, we'll try this again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.